The House of the Dragon cast all look familiar, and you will be surprised to find out the other famous projects they've acted in. After the time jump in Season 1, Emma Darcy took over the role of Rhaenyra from Millie Alcock, and the drama in House of the Dragon became even more heightened. And despite the earlier outrage from the fans over the recast of the character, Emma has proven to be more than just capable of making an excellent impression with the role. However, you might wonder where you've seen Emma before, as they've acted in fascinating movies and TV series before joining HOTD. In 2021, Emma was featured in a movie called Mothering Sunday, where they portray Emma Hobday. The character they played in the film is a woman set to marry a man called Paul. However, despite all of these, Paul is busy having an affair with a maid named Jane, and the story goes deeper into detailing this affair while Emma's character suffers from neglect. Although it was sad in some aspects, Mothering Sunday is a romantic movie involving Jane and Paul. However, Emma brought their versatility and elegance into this movie from the way they carried their character to their speech delivery, which was all epic. Emma also played a minor character in their first ever credited movie role, Misbehavior, as Hazel. This 2020 comedy drama follows the 1970 Miss World competition, where the story deals with liberating women since it's believed that such pageantries objectify women in the guise of competition or rewards. So, their character was one of the agitators for this movement. And yet again, Emma proved that they had all the talents to fit into any role they were given. You might also remember them from Truth Seekers, a comedy TV series featuring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. In this show, Emma had a significant role where they portrayed a young lady, Astrid. The character is troubled and has a lot of ghosts haunting her. She eventually meets a team of part-time investigators and they go on a journey to discover more shocking details about the supernatural. On the other side of the war in House of the Dragon is Alicent Hightower, whose friendship with Rhaenyra became a forbidden tale left behind in the past. This fraction has caused even further division between Team Black and Team Green. However, considering how well Olivia Cook portrays her role in House of the Dragon, the actress has also made some significant impressions in her previous projects, where you might know her from. Before House of the Dragon, Olivia was more known for Bates Motel, where she had her breakout role as Emma. Her character was a girl with cystic fibrosis, so she thought she might not live long. In her loneliness and self-pity, she met Norman, who's also an outsider like her, and they connected, which was very beautiful. Eventually, this romantic relationship ended in a twist you wouldn't expect. In this show, Olivia Cook had to drop her everyday British accent to speak an American one, and at the beginning, she wasn't sure she would get the role, but then she did. Although it's one of the biggest jobs in her career, the actress had a tough time working on the set of Bates Motel as a young talent dealing with being away from her family and handling scheduling. Olivia also brought her talent on board in another significant film called Ready Player One, where she played Samantha and doubled as her avatar, Artemis in the film's virtual world, Oasis. In this project, the actress also had to use an American accent, which she had perfected. She said, you don't want people to be thrown by a wonky American accent. Then her avatar did many crazy stunts, which Olivia also performed, but with the help of a body double. The character she portrayed, Samantha, is a fun, bold, and intelligent individual who eventually falls in love with a fellow gunter in the Oasis. Her acting range also took her to modern love in episode 7, where the story centered around a gay couple, Tobin and Andy, who wanted to have a baby. Then they met Carla, whom Olivia plays, and decided to adopt her baby as she's homeless and her living to raise a baby. Carla played a carefree character who later moved into the couple's home and was still drinking and having casual private moments with random men during her pregnancy. More issues continued to arise until she finally had the baby. Olivia nailed this role beautifully as a homeless person, contrary to her royalty status in House of the Dragons. Sir Kristen Cole being one of the most hated characters in the show might be an understatement, but it shows how well the actor, Fabian Frankel, knows 
knows precisely how to nail his performance to be so realistic and annoying. Despite being a very talented actor, Fabian started working professionally in 2017, beginning in the theater. Then he moved to the screen where he had his first role in Last Christmas, playing Fabian alongside Emilia Clarke, who portrayed Daenerys in the Game of Thrones franchise. Last Christmas follows an emotional but romantic comedy between Emilia's character, Kate, and a mysterious man, Tom. Eventually, the story goes uphill and ends with a surprising twist. In a deleted scene from the film, Fabian also had a brief affair with Kate. The clip has generated numerous comments on how Kristen Cole has a thing for Targaryen women. The actor also featured in a series based on the true crime story of a serial executioner, Charles Sobrage in The Serpent. Fabian plays the role of a real-life person called Dominique, a backpacker who happened to meet the capital offender and, from there, started living with him and his wife, which soon became a grave mistake. Fortunately, Dominique found a way out and became the first victim to escape from the dangerous hands of Charles and his wife, Monique. In 2019, Fabien also got to act in the reboot of the 1993 NYPD Blue, where he played Theo Sipowich, the son of the cop Andy Sipowich. His actions in this movie also brought even more recognition to his acting craft and further proved the range he could cover. Although a low-born character in House of the Dragon, Myceria has become influential amid power being passed around the Targaryens as the mistress of whisperers in King's Landing. And you won't believe the actress Sonoya Mizuno is more familiar than you might think as she has featured in significant projects like Crazy Rich Asians in the past. She portrayed Araminta in this popular film where she and her husband welcomed Rachel and Nick Young into the luxurious lives of the Crazy Rich Asians and their bachelorette party was held on an entire island. And to top all that, Araminta was the same bride who walked through water down the aisle in a dreamlike but beautiful moment. In another movie, movie, Maniac, Sonoya becomes unrecognizable in her oversized frames and a superb wig with bangs as Dr. Azumi Fujita. In this psychological role, she's behind a dangerous pharmaceutical trial that ended up causing lots of problems. Another iconic thing about this actress is her versatility because when she's not playing a bride or doctor, she's in a sci-fi thriller, Devs, where she portrays Lily Chan. In the show, she acts as a computer engineer who suspects another computing firm, Amaya, of being the reason behind her boyfriend's disappearance. And that led to a thrilling investigation in this masterpiece, where Sonoya gave her all. Another breakout star of House of the Dragon, Ewan Mitchell, who plays Aemond, one of the leading characters who made the war draw even closer, has also featured in many big projects in the past. Unlike his blonde hair and one eye, which makes him stand out in HOTD, it might have been more difficult for fans to notice Ewan was in the popular and crazy movie Saltburn alongside Barry Keohan. Ewan plays Michael Gavey in Saltburn, where he meets Oliver and tries to become his friend because he thinks they have some nerdy similarities in Oxford. Eventually, Oliver dumped him to make friends with Felix, which ended rather badly and had a very shocking turn. Interestingly, Ewan has even more range than that, as he also acted as Osford, Kingdom, which he played for a while between 2017 and 2022. Although he's the legitimate son of King Viserys in HOTD, Ewan got to portray the bastard son of King Alfred in The Last Kingdom. And despite the two shows having a few similarities in terms of his being of royal blood, Osferth, the main character in The Last Kingdom, is very amusing and friendly compared to his HOTD role. However, that shows how Ewan handles his career excellently, no matter the role. Before before all of these, though, Ewan started his professional acting career in The Halcyon in 2017, where he acted as Billy Taylor in a leading role as the bellboy of the Halcyon Hotel. His mother in the show, Peggy, works on the switchboard, and his mother became worried when Billy insisted on joining the war when he turned 18. However, behind his desperation to go to war was also his secret crush and love for Kate, one of the maids at the hotel. Yet again, Ewan portrays a sweet character in this TV series, which is very 
different from his cold personality in HOTD. The cast of HOTD acted their role so well in the popular series that it leaves no doubt that fans may have seen them in other great productions in the past as well. Matt Smith is a very well-known face, especially in his role as Prince Philip in The Crown. Despite being a king consort, which is similar to the fate his character shares in HOTD, Prince Philip was very dominant and assertive, and he was a beautiful and adventurous prince whom the queen sometimes struggled to keep up with. Prince Philip is such an exciting character that he made Matt Smith get nominated for several awards. In The Crown, his character becomes bored of playing the king consort and carrying out numerous assignments since he prefers the military and flying planes. Then, the queen also suspected him of having an affair. However, aside from playing a fiery role as husband to Queen Elizabeth, he also showed how committed he is to playing the role of a father in their children's lives. Matt Smith is also popularly known for his performance in Doctor Who, which ran from 2010 to 2014 as the 11th Doctor Who. For this role, he had two companions, Amy and Rory, and just like the actor is known for having playboy features, which makes him even more likable, his Doctor Who character also possesses an attractive charm with a hidden temper underneath. He brought a whole new vibe to Doctor Who because he was different. From being younger than David Tennant's Doctor to being angrier than Eccleston, he was fired up with this performance. Also, this role showed Matt Smith's resourcefulness as an actor as he constantly switched between being adorable and annoying. Matt has continually featured in many other great shows and films, and another masterpiece that stands out is his role as Jack in Last Night in Soho. Again, fans fell desperately in love with this character and his partner Sandy, whom Anya Taylor-Joy portrays. When they first met, Jack gave Sandy a singing gig and even protected her from an aggressive person who wanted to take advantage of Sandy until he turned out to be more dangerous. In a different era in the future, another character, Ellie, could see all these play out in the 1960s as this movie is full of twists and surprises that are beyond thrilling. However, this project further reveals that Matt Smith is an expert in having intense chemistry with his on-screen partners. Although many people now know Tom Glenn Carney from HOTD for his role as Aegon, who detests his position as king and his grandfather for controlling every decision he makes on the throne, he broke out with his role in Dunkirk alongside Cillian Murphy. In the show, he portrays a teenager, Peter, and a son to a small-town boat captain who takes it upon himself to rescue the British soldiers from the nearby city. Peter played a heroic act in Dunkirk, which is less about the war and more about bravery, survival, courage, and a sense of community. Then, the actor also featured in Tolkien as Christopher Wiseman, a friend of the main character, J.R.R. Tolkien, and the two met in 1905 at King Edward's School in Birmingham. Christopher also belongs to the Tea Club and Barovian Society in the film, which they all founded together. It's such an emotional journey that Christopher becomes the only friend of Tolkien who survived the First World War. It's almost as if Tom enjoys acting roles based on ancient and different eras, as the actor also featured in The King, where he plays Henry Percy, popularly referred to as Hotspur. In the film, Hotspur is a nobleman who joined his father in attacking Henry IV as his fictional details follow the story of the original Hotspur. However, he gets a tragic end in the war-infested era, and Tom proves there's no role he can't fit into. Rhaenyra's adorable first son, Jacaris, and the suitable heir to the throne, is portrayed by Harry Collett, who has also gotten a more comprehensive range of experience in his acting career ever since he debuted at a very young age. Although he started by playing in theaters, one of his past appearances was in the series Casualty, where he played Ollie Hyde, son of David Hyde. Although his performance hasn't been consistent in the show, as he's absent in some episodes, Harry has been portraying the character on and off. He was also featured in Doolittle as Tommy Stubbins, the doctor's assistant, and can speak animal language. Even though he rarely spoke in HOTD, the character was outspoken in Doolittle. He was the cobbler's son and had an intense passion for going on a voyage, and he cherishes sailors a lot. Tommy also enjoyed 
enjoys helping animals in distress, which is very close to his good nature in House of the Dragon. Since he's been acting from a young age, fans might not remember him from Dunkirk as he was just a little boy then, but he was a good child actor, especially in his scene with Harry Styles, which was pretty short but somehow impactful. Aegon's sister and wife, Helena, has gone through a lot of traumatic experiences at a very young age and has no one to vent to about it, and the way the actress Fia Sabin, who plays the role of the Queen of Westeros, translated her grief on screen has been applauded by fans. However, Fia hasn't been featured in many projects, which is surprising because of the way she plays Helena so well. The only past acting role to her credit is in The Last Kingdom, featuring her co-star Ewan. The drama sees Fia portray the role of Elfwyn, a supporting character of royal blood who is the daughter of the Lord Ethelred and Lady Ethelfled. In the TV series, her birth is surrounded by claims and suspicions of her father, who believes she isn't his legitimate child. Also, the rumors are widespread in the show, where it's assumed she was fathered by someone else, Dane Eric Thurgelson. Except for a few other projects that Fia has been involved in, her other acting role is in HOTD, which has further made fans know the actress even better. 